welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. And if not, welcome back. Today we are in my new studio, which if you guys have been around for a while, you know that it's not necessarily super new, but I finally got it to pretty organized and most of the pictures on the walls have something in them. So I'm gonna take you guys around my studio, show you how I kind of set it up and why it is the way that it is, where I work in different areas and why, and that's pretty much it. It has taken me a second to get to the point to be able to have this amazing of a studio in my house. And if you guys are business members or you don't know anything about me, I have a business membership where I coach you guys from beginning to success in business. Um, success looks different for all different people and it's really not a level that you have to get to. It's just kind of like an idea of doing what you love and enjoying everything that you do. And so having this studio has been a process, guys, from starting out in our garage to doing the crafts in front of my television with, you know, hundreds of tutu dresses and supplies laying in our living room to having an office outside of our home to realizing that my ideal goal was to work from home and have an amazing studio in my home and so that is where i have finally gotten to and you can see that i have amazing lighting just coming in through the windows and this is my dream space it's going to ebb and flow as time goes on and as I find different pieces for it, but I feel like this is where I am supposed to be when I am home. I love being able to work at home with my kids, being able to homeschool, do all the things. So this space, I needed to be a little bit more versatile than just my area. I needed it to be a functioning space that other people could feel welcome in. And that's where I got it to. So let's walk around my studio. I'm gonna show you kind of the layout and why I decided to lay it out like this and just talk you guys through all the things so let's go welcome to my studio okay so first things first in this new space i wanted it to feel like a piece of our house but actually still be um pretty enough to be a part of my branding and for you to walk into it and instantly think of my brand but also not feel like you're in a complete craft studio where i film my videos hunter loves it in here you're gonna see him a few times in this video so i sectioned off the room into three main areas and the back area near the fireplace is my working spot the scrap box sits where i like to film the center is kind of like the hangout studio which is really cool because i have this couch that has these little cup holders and it folds out into a bed i got it on wayfair for like 250 bucks really good deal and then the center i made cute so that hunter can hang out there and be cute as well but this little piece it was like 60 bucks at an antique store and kids love it because it's low and it's right in the middle of my craft room this is my work side where i've got kind of just my laptop and my computer and then i also hung this frame up that is easily openable that i'm gonna probably put something in one day hopefully but i'm gonna open up some of these drawers so you can see that i still need to get a little bit of my life together i've got random things in here everything over on this side is basically things for filming and business and randomness i've got like business cards and tons of stuff in here that I just kind of throw in these drawers. Nothing craft worthy. I've got Hunter's little blankie behind me so he can lay there when I'm working. And then I love boxes because I can hide things in them like crayons and drills. You'll see in a second. But I got a mirror at Walmart, Ross, one of those cheap places and hung right in the center. Here's where the drill enters the studio. But literally I get boxes and I just hide things in them. Okay, so then back here, I reused the IKEA shelf that I had in my old studio for craft supplies, but on this side, I wanted it to only be um, unfinished projects and Cricut supplies, uh, or cutting supplies, uh, and I have a lot, so not only do I have them over here, but I also have them in my scrap box, you guys will see in the scrap box tour. But I still continue to keep things in magazine holders and in these 
fun bins from the Target Happy Spot. And I've got my Easy Weed, my Glitter, Caesar HTV, my Holographic and Electric HTV, all products from Shop Auntie Tay. And then this is probably my favorite bin because it's literally where I throw things when I'm done with them. And then maybe once every three months I go in and reorganize that. But I just love hiding it in one bin. I've got my cardstock and all of my printable products like printable sticker paper, printable HTV, printable vinyl, regular cardstock, all the printables over here. And then this is also where I keep all my business files and cute things just so that it's cute in my backdrops. Um, and then I also keep rolls of transfer tape over here. I have some leftover Cricut transfer tape I probably will never use because I have ridiculous amounts of my own transfer tape, which everybody loves. It's like our number one seller on shopantitay.com. Um, I've got a huge roll of Oracle black vinyl, which again, we sell on Shop Auntie Tay. And then our other transfer tape that everyone loves too, but I keep that on hand as well. So over here is basically all my cutting supplies um, if they are not 12 by 12 sheets, because if they're 12 by 12 sheets, I keep them in the scrap box. And then back there, I keep some random uh, tripod things that don't fit anywhere else. And then here's my bad boy box of vinyl of all the kind of colors I don't really use very often, except these reds, maybe just colors I have a lot of. And then here's another box. This is by Mindy from her new Heritage hairline. It was so cute. I just popped it in there and thought it looked cute more business files and then over here i have in the cubbies where you can't see i have a ton of unfinished projects or things that i've bought or have on hand to make in live videos one day when i start going live again more often oh hey woody what's up all right he's hanging out up to down okay so i have this little file organizer over here and literally just keep every single printable i ever print out in this and then up here we have like a sneak peek to all of our patterns that are coming out in htv and vinyl those should be live on our website by the time you're seeing this video so we have over 250 uh, patterned HTVs. I also have bundles of our SVGs printed out and things like that to show you guys in live videos. And then this desk over here is my South Hill desk, which you can get on Amazon. And this is my planning station in my studio. And I put my first bullet journal in a shadow box, which is just a journal, but I got it when I was 12 at Disneyland, one of my favorite things on earth. And then I have my goal planner, printed out that I'm working on and my big calendar that me and my assistant look at um, every week. And then this ugly cork board that I eventually will do something with, but it is actually like a command center for everything that I have to do at the moment. So my crickets sit next to my gallery wall of our family photos. We call it the Devrend Boulevard wall. Needs some pictures on the top. But I did a tutorial on this that you guys can see um, and how I laid that out. Hunter still kind of approves of this tutorial video. I'm not sure, but he had to be a part of this. All right, so I have this fun little cubby over here. This used to be a wet bar in our house and I was debating ripping this out, but I ended up using it as a spot to hold like all random things plus every journal I've ever had since I was 12 years old. So I thought that this was a really cool way to just kind of like keep all my journals in one spot. I'm actually working on my decade planner that should be coming out soon. And then we have the scrap box, but wait guys, there's actually going to be a video completely on it. So check that one out next and that is my studio I'm absolutely in love with it I'm sure things will change and I'll do another one updated soon but I am happy in this spot and I will not be leaving it for anytime soon all right love you guys bye